But you come to Duke because it's bigger than just basketball. And of course, community service is a big part of everything we do, both in the Durham community and then also working with our guys to figure out the, the causes that are important to them. And it's really about contributing in more ways than just basketball. There's always going to be a business around who they are and making sure that they're making meaningful connections that they'll take on for the rest of their life is really what we're, we're looking to accomplish. I just want to say a thank you to everybody that showed out for Duel for Victory year two. It was bigger than ever. Uh, such a great showing. We got a chance to celebrate some amazing kids and see who can dribble out there. Some people can't dribble as well as others, but others can. But most importantly, we raised some money for a great cause, uh, the Jimmy V Foundation, Duke Children's, uh, and raising money for pediatric cancer research. What an honor. Thank you all so much. We just had to do it for victory. Out here supporting a good cause, man. Uh, just supporting these kids and the, what they're going through in their battles and uh, going to be more happy and excited for them to just keep getting better and uh, live a good life. Raising some money for, for cancer. Had a nice little walk. Great meeting some of these kids out here. It's been a great morning. Raised a lot of money and you know, just having a great time, having a blast and making something good out of it. So. Well, the Dribble for Victory event has been an honor for uh, my family and I to be a part of and you know for Marcel and I uh, Duke Children's Hospital has really uh, been a special relationship for us you know we have three young kids and we've met some uh, amazing kids along the way and uh, developed some close relationships no kid deserves to go through uh, a fight with cancer it's just a horrible thing and so for us Jubal for Victory is an extension of the work we've done with the Duke Children's Hospital, the work that uh, Coach K and his family throughout the years has developed with the Duke Children's Hospital. And, you know, I'm thankful for them to partner with us. And, you know, really year two was a lot bigger than year one. Uh, raised a lot of money, uh, raised a lot of awareness, and just a way to, you know, anytime you can do something where you're outside, people are connecting with each other, and most importantly, there's a chance to honor you know, about 12 young kids that are uh, that have either uh, currently have gone through uh, are going through a battle or have previously gone through a battle against cancer, and to pick their spirits up and for our players to spend some time with them. So I'm thankful for everybody that showed up and showed out for that because it uh, it means a lot to my family and I. Duke All Access is brought to you by Gatorade. Greatness isn't about what you've done, it's about what you do next. By Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. And by Coke Zero Sugar. They say Coke Zero is irresistibly tasty. Does that make it the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. Feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. Can they handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah. Road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by like a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to a hundred. Continental. Welcome to the smart choice in tires. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments due to falling hydration levels. I used to go missing all the time. I let everyone down. I even let Shannon Sharp down. Um, yeah, you let me down. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter. That electrolytes are all the same. Then just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Could be the difference between dominating and disappearing. Gatorade, rehydrate, replenish, refuel.
Create a backyard that's out of this world. Right now, save $30 on the GTA 26 handheld battery pruner. Real steel. Find yours. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duke Basketball 360, presented by Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. What's up, guys? It's Sean Stewart here. We're at the Boys and Girls Club of Durham. Me and Tyrese, about to give out some backpacks to the kids. It's about to be a good time. Yeah, so me and Sean uh, headed out and went to the Boys and Girls Club and uh, you know, just toured the facility, had a look around all the classrooms and, and met a bunch of the kids there and then uh, we were able to give back and, and um, give them some back to school supplies, uh, which was really fun. Um, Sean's mom came along, my mom and, and my sister were there as well, so, you know, just all of us together were, were um, just helping, giving back to the community here in Durham. You know, we have a big platform here at Duke and it just means so much to me to be able to um, use my platform to give back to the younger generation, to the community, people in need. It just makes me feel really good, you know, that I can give back. Be able to be in the position I am now and be able to give back and kids looking up to me as a role model, it means the world to me. So. Uh, I love giving back. I feel like it's you know, with my platform and, and the magnitude of how big Duke is and stuff like that, I feel like it's really important to give back. Um, so I try and give back, you know, as much as I can. And, and I went to the hospital a couple of times and, and um, just met a lot of the kids there that were struggling and going through a, a rough time in their life. I had a surprise, one of my boys, Walker, I met him last, last week, last week, and just got some toys, um, some dinosaurs and Legos, and he's been in here, so I think he gets out at one o'clock today. So just about a surprise him. It was good to just, you know, bring a smile to their faces and, and you know, it brings joy to me and my day. Um, so I just feel like it's really important, you know, growing up, I idolised a lot of people and, you know, I, when I got to meet them, it brought a lot of happiness to my life at the time. So I feel like, it, you know, I, I'm in the position where I can do the same thing and, and giving back is just one of them. I enjoy having my family there with me. Um, just a, you know, just a different experience for them as well. Not, not really doing anything like that before, but I think my sister really enjoyed it. Just, you know, just being around the American kids and, and um, getting a feel for all of them and, and giving back um, to them as well. So I think, you know, she loves, loves doing it as well. And my mom's worked in schools um, back home her, her whole life, you know, been a principal, been a teacher um, and still is. So, you know, she's always giving back to her community back home and, and doing as much as she can to, to help the kids uh, live a better life. So I think she really enjoyed it as well. You know, it's been a while since I've seen her, since I got here. So for her to come and help out um, with the community, it made me really happy and um, it was great to see her. It means a lot because, you know, it's good to have somebody that has shared interests with you, um, we, you know, within the community, helping out. So to have Tyrese there, it really meant a lot. And, you know, to have his family there and my family, and we all came together to help for a greater cause. It was it was really fun, and it was really I was really happy that we were able to do that together. It's kind of crazy and surreal, but it's um you know something I've been working for my whole life, and I'm just blessed to have the opportunity to be able to be in that position and, and give back to those kids. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments due to falling hydration levels. I used to go missing all the time. I let everyone down. I even let Shannon Sharp down. Um, yeah, you let me down. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter. That electrolytes are all the same. And just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Could be the difference between dominating and disappearing. Gatorade, rehydrate, replenish, refuel. People have trusted Reed's Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns, as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reed's Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. 
When you're injured, you should not be ignored by the insurance company. We know the amount seems low, but this is what your case is worth. Just click here. We understand you can't work. Click the bottom. You want more. Call a law firm that will fight for the justice you deserve. You weren't going to click that, were you? Tell them you mean business. Call the law offices of James Scott Farron on the Hurt Line right now. Duke's New Century cries out for a university where the drive to discover is not hemmed by disciplinary logics. Where philosophers work side by side with physicians and physicists. Where nurses find inspiration in narrative theory. Where mechanical engineers team up with marine biologists or musicians. I believe Duke will continue to be that university together. Please join me in welcoming the 19th and 21st U.S. Surgeon General, Dr. Vivek Murthy, and my friends and Duke colleagues, Kate Bowler and John Shire. Well, at first, when I was asked to, to do a speaking engagement with the Surgeon General, um, I thought they sent it to the wrong person. You know, I just I said, what do you want me to do? And then I realized, uh, and I read more about him and the, the job that Vivek has done, uh, raising awareness on loneliness, raising awareness on isolation, raising concerns with social media, and all those things really hit home to me. And uh, then I found out a good friend of mine, Kate Bowler, was gonna be up there with us um, doing the events. And so I'm on stage with the two of them, and you know I've never felt more big time in my life being with the two of, the, two of them, because they're great people, but they're smart as could be, and they really have done an amazing job. During my first stint as Surgeon General, I, I began by traveling around the country and, and talking to people, just then asking them, how can I be helpful? And I was trying to just listen to what their stories were. And I heard a lot of stories that you might expect, people who were concerned about the addiction crisis in their community, folks who were worried about <clears throat> rising rates of depression and anxiety that they were seeing among young people. But I also started to hear these stories about loneliness. Hmm. I heard from young students who were on college campuses who would say, you know, I'm surrounded by hundreds of other kids here, but I, I don't know, I feel like nobody really knows me for who I am. I feel like I can't be myself. I heard the same from parents who were busy, surrounded you know, by their day-to-day -day lives by so many people, but just felt profoundly alone. Yeah. I would talk to members of Congress and I would hear the same thing, that they were feeling lonely. I would talk to CEOs, they were feeling lonely too. And that's what really led me to dig into this and to recognize that uh, not only is loneliness extraordinarily common with one in two adults in America struggling with loneliness, and the numbers are actually much higher wow. among young people, but it was also really consequential for our health, that when we struggled with that sense of social disconnection, it turns out it increased our risk for depression, anxiety, and suicide, but also for physical illness, for heart disease, for dementia, and for premature death. So all of those came together to to really motivate me to say, you know what, loneliness is actually a public health issue. It's not just a bad feeling, and it's one that we've got to address with great urgency. It was an honor. Uh, I learned a lot, and you know, for me, it made me reevaluate uh, re some of the things in my own life. You know, what am I spending my time on? You think about all the time we spend on our phones, uh, on social media. What is that that gets in the way of real relationships you can have? And so for me. I learned so much, and it was also great just to speak about issues that our guys go through on a daily basis, uh, our kids, family. I think all of us can relate to the talk uh, that the Surgeon General had with everybody. You know, when I left Duke, we won the national championship and uh, was really proud of the career that I had here. Even though there were some people that were happy about the upgrade at point guard with the guy Kyrie Irving coming in. All right, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't feel too bad. I saw that one day and I said, who's this Kyrie guy? And uh, he's, anyway, I don't take as much offense to that anymore. But um, I was playing summer league with Miami Heat and, you know, first game uh, that I, right before the first game that I played, that's when LeBron James came out and said, I'm taking my talents to South Beach. Okay, uh, Chris Bosh said he's signing with Miami. Uh, Dwayne Wade re-signed with them, and I go from finishing up at Duke to thinking I'm going to be teammates with LeBron, 
with five championships, and they need minimum contract guys. I'm that. I, I fit that category. Uh, they need shooting. I fit. Um, in the first game of Summer League, I hit the game-winning shot. The second game, I got poked in the eye, had an optic nerve injury, mm. and lost all my vision immediately in my right eye. And uh, so as my team's playing the rest of Summer League, uh, I flew back to Chicago, uh, saw a specialist who told me he probably wouldn't be able to play the game again that I love. Uh, and then the next week, I'm in the hospital having steroids pumped into me, trying to get the swelling down. Uh, instead of thinking that I'm gonna be teammates with LeBron James. Mm -hmm. And there was a defining moment in my life. <laughs> it's a very lonely moment, uh, but the thing that kept it together me was the amazing support that I had for my family. Mm -hmm. The amazing support I had for my Duke family. You know, there's a guy, Terry Kim, uh, who's a great doctor here at Duke, and he's an amazing eye doctor, and Terry was on me every step of the way, Coach K, every step of the way, a couple of my close teammates calling, checking in, checking in hmm. every day. And if it wasn't for them, I don't know what I would have been feeling at that time. But I, looking in the key moments, and that's one for me in my life, the, the, how people show up is important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How people show up when things aren't, when it's not winning a championship, a lot of people showed up for that, that was great. But here I am a few months later, um, not signed to play anywhere, I don't know what's going to happen, and, and those people in my life that showed up made a huge difference. The buzzer beater, that moment when time stands still, our collective breath held as the ball hovers above the rim. But almost a third of those shots were set up by a passer who made the smart choice. Throwing an assist takes trust, IQ, and total confidence in your decision. And the greatest one? My pass to Leitner in 92 wasn't too bad. the smart choice in tires. These mascots represent some of the most heated rivalries in college sports. What could possibly bring them all together? Everyone agrees on the best team in smart home security. CPI. Statistically, the world is losing color. But who wants a gray world when we could have this? Honey yellow. Perry pinkle. Indy gold. Things stay the same when the same is where you stay. But in hundreds of Delta destinations, simply open your eyes can open your world. We still believe in the American dream. A dream filled with promise. A dream filled with commitment to our neighbors and our communities. Where we work hard and succeed together. Where we take care of those who serve for us. SRS delivers with integrity and purpose. Through the fastest growing family of independence in the country. Company by company. Person by person. Rooftop by rooftop. SRS distribution delivers more than building products. SRS delivers dreams. Well, the Mama Sita Clinic was an incredible thing. We brought uh, almost 100 kids uh, from Durham in our practice facility. Uh, we did a clinic. Uh, in honor of Kobe and Gigi and, and the Mambasita Foundation and really just talked about the values that Kobe has lived his life with. And, you know, of course, Coach K was fortunate to, to coach him in USA Basketball. And I know Kobe talked, you know, if he was to go to college, he would have gone to Duke. Uh, so for me as a player, I've heard stories from Coach K for a long time. You know, why don't you do things like Kobe does? You know, yeah, I'm coaching him in USA Basketball. He's doing this. Why are you guys doing this? And so for me, uh, there's probably a little bit of jealousy first uh, because I couldn't do the things that Kobe did. But what, what a father, what a role model, what a competitor that he lived his life with and the person that he was. It meant a lot to me personally, but more importantly, it meant a lot to our program to be able to partner with the Mamba Sita Foundation. Very thankful for Vanessa and the entire Bryant family to allow us 
to have that opportunity. It's a terrific afternoon. You know, I had the honor of coaching Kobe and uh, became very close with him. And for to see what Vanessa, his wife, has done in creating this Mamba Mamba Sita uh, Foundation to help kids and choosing our school uh, to be one of the few schools that are going to do it. Uh, basically, you know, they live out in LA and uh, they're helping kids in Durham. And like I told the kids, Vanessa, the Bryant family is sending you their love. And, uh, and then our basketball team did a great job. Coach Shire and, and his kids uh, really did a great job. It was a lot of energy. It was, it was actually very beautiful. It was such an honor for our team, for our program to be a part of this. How do you think these guys did? How did the coaches do today? <laughs> to do this with Mamba Mamacita, for Kobe, for Gianna, um, Personally, you know, Kobe's been a guy I've always watched and followed. I was lucky to play for Coach K, who coached Kobe. But the thing for me is, you know, I'm, I'm a dad of a girl. You know, he's, he's the ultimate girl dad. And uh, having a daughter has changed my life. All right, it's changed my life. And seeing him as a dad, more so as just a competitor and as a player, is a big deal to me. Why don't you guys give it up for yourselves one time with the job you guys did, all right? Thank you guys so much for being here. Two, three. Mama forever. Kobe Bryant was one of my uh, players that I had an honor to coach. This is a picture of the two of us. You can see he's listening. So all of you, when a teacher is talking to you, be like Kobe Bryant. Listen, they're going to make you better. Did you feel like you worked pretty good today? Yeah. I, I thought you had great attitudes. There was so much enthusiasm. Did you feel that the Duke basketball players were excited? When a student and a teacher are both excited, you make each other better. And so I think I helped him get better, but he helped me get better. The other thing about Kobe, he loved his children. And so the Mamba, Mamba Sita Foundation is really about love. And Vanessa and her family through the foundation is sending all of her love to Durham, North Carolina. How about that? That's pretty good. You know, being on the court is a real intimate place. Uh, you get to really teach. You get to kind of feel people, their emotions. You kind of know where they are, so you know what they need that day. You know, they may need to be coached a little bit harder that day because their mind may be somewhere else, or it may be a day where they're trying and things aren't just going right, so you need to put your arm around them. So being that close in person, you can really feel what is needed. And then, you know, one of the benefits uh, we have on the staff a lot is that you have a lot of former players. So, you know, a lot of the coaching is what would I say to myself right now in this moment? Because you've been in their situations, uh, you've been in their shoes at those times of those really hard practices when things don't be feel like going your way and Coach Shire's on you. Uh, you know what you know what to tell them and know what they need. Every possession, every day we should look like this. We're flying around, we're on a string. Look, everybody's moving when the ball moves. All right, good communication here on that switch. Jared, good job taking that middle drive away. Right there where Mark is, takes away that drive just enough, just enough, all right? So if we wanted to switch it, we can, but Mark is there, plug it, and then we're back. And the best defense turns into great offense. We got this two-on-one, and we capitalize. And I always wanted to get into coaching. I knew I was going to get into coaching. I didn't think it was going to be a 24. You know, I thought it would be a lot older. Um, and, you know, you always say you want to coach, but you really don't know until you're actually in it and doing it. Um, and then once you got into it, you kind of understand, you know, 
who you are as a coach. That's a big part of it. You can't be somebody you were coached by. You can't be something you've seen. You have to understand how am I going to be good for who I am and how can I get across and help, you know, the, help the team, help the players to the best of my ability as a coach. Here we go, three in a straight line. All right, we're going three man closeout. I'll explain it. You're going left, bottom man going up the middle. I want you to start a little bit back. You're going, he's going left, you go right, bottom man go up the middle. All right, so look, what we're doing, we're starting to lay so we can work on this shot fake. All right, this is going to be a big thing because we're going to be in scramble so much. So like we talked about yesterday, when they shot fake, you fake, don't leave your feet. Now we're guarding the closeout. All right, so make sure we on this mid and we're chop, 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 go! Just finished up a practice with the Duke Children's Hospital. What an amazing event. We've had a special relationship with them, starting way back with Coach K. Uh, I remember these practices ever since I was a player. So it's a special honor for us to be able to continue the tradition, meet some amazing kids uh, who have fought some really difficult battles, and to see the smiles on their face, to see their positivity, uh, and for our players to be able to connect with them. It's a special thing. It was a great experience uh, just being here with all the kids. Uh, they brought a lot of energy for us. It was a lot of fun. And, you know, it's my first time in camera really playing in front of a crowd, so I felt the, the energy from them. And it's, we're going to have a good year with them behind us, for sure. Hearing them cheer us on throughout practice, being able to play with them, teach them how to shoot, show them the ropes, it's been fun to have them. And, you know, I got to get back to teaching them how to shoot because he got a number zero jersey on, so I got to lock in with him because me and him are on the same wavelength. So, yeah, shout out to uh, Duke Children's Hospital, and uh, we're going to go help them out. Playing at Duke is always more than just what you do on the court. And, you know, with our guys, we always talk about this being a lifetime decision. Our guys have so many options with different places they could play, whether it be professionally or not. And when you come here, you know, they've done an amazing job of unpacking their bags and being fully into Duke University. And so uh, they've done great things in the community. Uh, they've done great things giving back. Uh, and I'm proud of the character that our, our guys have, not just, of course, as players, I'm proud of them, but, but I'm most proud of them for the young men that they are and how they give back, how they treat people, how they handle themselves off the court. I'll forever be grateful for those guys for, for doing that.